These mean words can scare narcissists and make them always bow down to you. Have you ever met someone who didn't seem to care about how you felt or your health? They might have shown signs of being very self-centered. It can be hard to deal with people who take advantage of others and use manipulation to get what they want. Don't worry though, you have the power to defend yourself. It's time to take back control and destroy the fake world that narcissists have made. Now let's talk about 10 words that will help you stand up to narcissists and protect your health. Are you ready to take back your power? Let's start our trip. First, let go of the handle. It can be tiring to deal with a narcissist, especially if they won't give up their power in a fight or competition. They have an unquenchable desire to win at all costs and can't give up. It doesn't matter how far behind they are. Narcissists will always try to win and avoid losing. There's no doubt that this habit can make you angry. But remember that it turns into a mental fight. Believe in your own decisions and don't let what they do affect how you react. Show that you have no fear and a firm attitude. In the end, they will give up. Prepare for counter-attacks, but find comfort in taking back control and putting your health first. Know that you are standing up for yourself and your mental health when you let go. Say no to a narcissist when they ask you to. For narcissists, saying no is like a knife to their fragile ego. It hurts their sense of being loved and how strong they think they are. They make avoiding the word no their main goal, which makes them use manipulation and control to get what they want. Though it's important to be strong and clear about your limits by saying no when you need to. If a narcissist asks you to do something that could put your safety or well-being at risk, you can say no. If they keep putting pressure on you, put your own health and safety first and leave their company before they hurt you. Don't forget that you can make your own rules and say no to what they want. Accept the idea that taking care of yourself shouldn't be tainted by the fake guilt that their tricks cause. Third place. Say these words. I don't care. Narcissists need attention and will do anything to make themselves feel good about how important and right they are. There's no denying that being close to these kinds of people is tiring. Narcissists, on the other hand, can be stopped in their tracks with the words, I don't care. These three words, which may seem easy, cut to the core of a narcissist's pride. Their whole sense of self-worth depends on approval from other people, so saying, I don't care, means they don't want to be recognized for anything. Not letting them exist is the same thing. Some people have a hard time understanding why narcissists need so much praise. They don't really know who they are, so they're always looking for outside validation of their presence. They can't feel like they're truly alive unless other people think they're important. 4. Stop trying to control me. It can be hard to deal with a narcissist's constant need to be in charge. It's important to know, though, that you can set limits and stop them from trying to control you. It may seem scary to stand up for yourself and stop them from controlling you, but it is very important for your health. Keep your cool and take charge of the situation. Make it clear that you don't want to be used as a tool and that you want to be treated with respect. Being aggressive or rude is not necessary when you want to stand up for yourself. You might even earn the narcissist's reluctant respect if you set clear limits in a calm way and let them know about them. Even though they might get angry, it is still better than giving in to what they want. 5. Say, it has nothing to do with you. When the narcissist acts like they think the world swirls around them, it can be hard on your mind and body to deal with their actions. Still, it's important to remember that what they do doesn't define your worth or value. In response to a narcissist's attempts to put you down or make everything about them say, it's not about you. These words have a lot of power because they tell them that their actions and views don't have a big effect on your life. 
Take a firm attitude and refuse to let their actions change how you see yourself. Do not forget that their world rotates around them, but yours does not have to. Do not let the actions of a narcissist bring down your self-esteem. Instead, keep your attention on what really matters to you. Number six, ask people to take more responsibility and answer for their actions. It's very frustrating when someone won't take responsibility for their deeds, but it's important to remember that you can only change how you act, not how other people act. It can be hard to expect other people to be responsible, but it's important for keeping relationships healthy. If you're working with a narcissist who always avoids taking responsibility, you need to use the right words to bring down their ego. Stand your ground even if the narcissist tries to shift the blame or make you feel bad for holding them responsible. Speaking out about their flaws doesn't make you weak. It shows that you are brave and strong. Seventh, you are not good enough. Getting along with a narcissist can be hard because they are always looking for praise and approval. It gets annoying to hear them brag about how much better they are while putting others down. But if you tell an ego you're not enough, it breaks down their act and makes what they say and do meaningless. When you say that, it makes them fall apart. When a narcissist realizes that their inflated ego doesn't match up with their real skills or successes, they feel incredibly devastated. Feeling like a failure, it hits them like a punch in the gut and makes them give up. Narcissists often put up a wall of confidence and superiority to hide their real flaws and insecurities. You may be right that they feel inadequate and low in self-worth, even if they try to ignore your criticism. Eighth, let them know that you don't know what they're doing. A lot of the time, narcissists will do anything to avoid facing the truth or admitting their flaws. This makes relationships unhealthy. Even though it might be hard to tell a narcissist they are wrong, being honest and sincere is important for building better, more respectful relationships. You can help your links get better by being brave and telling the truth. So, if a narcissist starts to bother you, just tell them, you don't understand the truth. Still, be ready for the ego-driven reaction that might happen. They might feel uncomfortable or want to get back at you. However, don't let how they respond stop you from seeking the truth and being honest with yourself and others. The ninth one. Say out loud, my life is my responsibility. When you're with a narcissist, taking responsibility or accepting fault can be seen as a threat to their power and control. It is important to understand that accountability is not about getting power, but about taking responsibility for your own actions. By accepting this, we can stop letting other people control and trick us and take charge of our own lives and actions. If a narcissist finds out that their partner is taking responsibility for their life and deeds, they might not like it. They might act in a way that is bothersome or try to stay in charge. Still, it's important to stay strong and put your own growth and development first. Narcissists need other people to take their minds off of their own problems and thoughts, but this doesn't make their issues go away. In fact, the only way for them to really solve their problems is to face them head on. Tenth, say, you are wrong in what you believe. People who are narcissists are very sensitive to criticism. When you point out their mistakes, they might get very angry or try to make you feel less important. But what happens when their ego is shown the truth about their fallacy? When this happens, their response might be even worse. Narcissists hate being shown to be wrong and are afraid of being seen as dishonest. So, pointing out their mistakes can make them angry and lead to revenge, even if the mistake was theirs in the first place. Always keep in mind that getting helpful feedback is a normal part of growing as a person and as a worker. People make mistakes all the time because no one is perfect. 
Being able to respond positively to comments is important for staying strong and building relationships that matter. It can be hard to deal with a narcissist who doesn't like being criticized, but staying calm and polite can help avoid major problems. Even though it may be tempting to try to change a narcissist's behavior or way of thinking, it is usually better to put our own health first and stay away from them. To protect ourselves from the bad effects of narcissistic behavior, we need to put our safety, mental health, and general well-being first. Remember that you are not alone if these words have given you hope and direction. People who are in relationships with narcissists often have a hard time. It is important to have the tools and support you need to get through these tough situations. It's not a sign of weakness to ask for help or advice when working with narcissists. You can get the help and tools you need to move on through therapy, support groups, or telling your friends and family about your problems. If you are dealing with a narcissist, know that you are not the only one. If you need help, please look at the information in the text. Don't forget to leave a comment below with your thoughts. And if you found this video helpful, click the like button. Narcissists often project an image of unwavering self-assurance, independence, and superiority, but don't be fooled. What seems like rock-solid confidence is often a meticulously constructed facade, masking their underlying vulnerabilities. In this video, we'll dive into the eight vulnerabilities that narcissists harbor, shedding light on their behavior and helping you navigate their manipulative schemes effectively. 1. Veiled Insecurity On the surface, narcissists radiate an aura of invincibility, making it easy to overlook their hidden insecurities. Yet, beneath their facade lies a surprising truth. Deep-seated insecurity serves as their chill's heel. Imagine a towering structure built upon fragile foundations. Despite their efforts to project grandiosity and success, narcissists grapple with inner doubts and fears. These insecurities, rooted in past traumas and experiences, act as a shield, cloaking their vulnerabilities even from themselves. 2. Craving validation. In the realm of narcissist psychology, there's a glaring dependence on external validation. Imagine someone whose self-worth hinges on the approval of others. Narcissists incessantly seek validation and praise, treating it like the lifeblood that sustains their inflated ego. Despite their outward confidence, they're constantly on the hunt for affirmation, grasping at compliments like fleeting sparks that momentarily light up their self-image. However, beneath this facade lies a vulnerability to criticism and rejection, as they rely on external validation to feel significant and powerful. 3. Lack of empathy. Immersed in their own world of grandiosity, Narcissists exhibit a profound deficiency in empathy. Their inability to empathize is palpable as they disregard the emotions, perspectives, and needs of those around them. Consumed by their own desires and aspirations, they disregard or minimize the experiences of others. This lack of empathy takes a toll on their relationships, leaving others feeling disconnected and undervalued. Consequently, Interactions with narcissists often lack depth and authenticity, breeding distance and distrust. 4. Tyrannical hunger for domination. Narcissists harbor an insatiable thirst for absolute control, extending their grasp over every facet of life, from the mundane to the intimate. They crave dominion, orchestrating circumstances to align with their whims and visions. This compulsive need for control lays bare a vulnerability in their armor. Any challenge to their authority or questioning of their choices can puncture their facade, revealing the fragility lurking beneath. Their reactions range from taking offense and assuming victimhood to more aggressive responses. Control is the lifeblood of narcissists, feeding their sense of pleasure and fortifying their false sense of security through the domination of others. 5. 
Green hide envy and competitive drive. Envy and competitiveness weave a tangled web in the tapestry of narcissistic psychology. Narcissists perpetually measure their self-worth against the achievements and attributes of others, ensnared in a ceaseless cycle of comparison. This perpetual evaluation breeds envy and rivalry whenever they perceive someone else as achieving success, garnering admiration or commanding attention. However, envy corrodes their relationships, driving them to undermine the accomplishments of others. Regardless of their own achievements, narcissists are consumed by an insatiable hunger for more, propelling themselves into a self-destructive cycle of pursuit. They relentlessly chase fleeting milestones, regardless of their substance or authenticity. Ultimately, they seek to diminish the successes of others to safeguard their own sense of superiority. Viewing the achievements of their peers as a threat, they fail to genuinely celebrate others' well-being, eroding relationships with their toxic and shallow behavior. 6. Shadow of Exposure Beneath the facade of confidence lies a haunting fear of exposure that stalks narcissists incessantly. Despite their outward appearance of self-assurance, they harbor deep insecurities about their true selves. They meticulously uphold a carefully crafted mask, shielding their inner vulnerabilities from the prying eyes of others. The mere suggestion of their true nature being unveiled sends tremors through their carefully constructed world. This fear-driven response manifests as defensiveness, evasion, and sometimes aggression, all in a frantic bid to preserve their meticulously curated image. The social mask becomes their shield against scrutiny, simultaneously feeding their ego and insatiable thirst for validation. 7. Mirror's Blindness Narcissists navigate life with a glaring absence of self-awareness, trapped in a cycle of self-affirmation and deception. Incapable of engaging in objective self-reflection, they persistently justify and defend their actions, regardless of the harm inflicted. This lack of accountability perpetuates a cycle of repeated mistakes, as they remain oblivious to the lessons of their past. Instead of introspection, Narcissists deflect blame onto others, refusing to acknowledge their own shortcomings. This dearth of self-awareness stifles personal growth and sabotages meaningful connections, leaving them mired in a perpetual cycle of denial and deflection. 8. Sensory overload to feedback. Within the narcissistic realm, criticism acts as a detonator, triggering a volatile explosion of emotions. Despite their facade of unshakable confidence, even the faintest whisper of critique sets off an exaggerated and tumultuous reaction. Whether it's a minor jab or a well-intended suggestion, narcissists perceive any form of criticism as a direct assault on their perceived grandeur. Ironically, while they freely dispense judgment and disdain toward others, they recoil at the slightest hint of reproach directed at them. This paradoxical response underscores their fragility as they oscillate between defensive deflection and frenzied attempts to reaffirm their superiority. Their susceptibility to criticism lays bare their vulnerability, as even the gentlest rebuke can ignite a raging inferno of anger and distress. As we've delved into the depths of narcissistic psychology, it becomes evident that their facade of strength is but a flimsy veil, concealing a plethora of vulnerabilities. Their ostentatious displays of superiority serve as a smokescreen, obscuring their own insecurities and ensuring their manipulative machinations remain undetected. It's all a charade, meticulously orchestrated to perpetuate their control over others while shielding themselves from scrutiny. In summary, the vulnerabilities of narcissists eclipse any semblance of strength they may portray. Don't fall into their snare. You are not beneath them, and you don't deserve their mistreatment. If a narcissist is in your life, it's crucial to sever ties completely. 
there's no benefit in maintaining a relationship with such toxicity. Rather than striving to change them or seeking vengeance, the wisest choice is to walk away for good. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. And don't forget to show your support by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Until next time. Hello, wonderful people. Ever found yourself completely drained after encountering someone with narcissistic tendencies? You're definitely not alone in that experience. Many individuals end up seeking therapy to navigate the aftermath of such encounters. But what exactly causes this overwhelming exhaustion and confusion? In today's discussion, we're diving deep into the aftermath of interactions with narcissistic personalities. From unraveling the intricate dynamics of unhealthy relationships to navigating the fallout and smear campaigns orchestrated by narcissists, we'll be exploring it all. But before we delve into the topic, I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to our incredible viewers who make our content possible. If you enjoy what we bring to the table and wish to show your support, consider contributing even as little as one dollar on our Ko-Fi page. Every contribution, regardless of its size, greatly aids us in maintaining and enhancing the quality of our content. As a special token of appreciation for those who choose to join as members, your name will be prominently featured at the outset of our videos, showcasing our gratitude for your generous support. Your support empowers us to keep creating the content you cherish, and we are immensely grateful for your indispensable role in our community. Find the Kofi link in the description below and become a cherished member of our journey. So, ever pondered why narcissists are so hell-bent on painting themselves as victims while vilifying others? Well, stick around, because we're about to unravel the motives behind their manipulative tactics and shed some light on the dynamics of these toxic relationships. Don't forget to smash that like button, share this video far and wide, and hit subscribe to keep up with our enlightening discussions. Let's navigate this journey together. Now let's delve into the truth behind why narcissists are so fixated on playing the victim and the ripple effects it has on those in their orbit. Many individuals engage in such behavior for various reasons, not just those with full-blown narcissistic traits, but even those who are slightly off kilter and rely on defense mechanisms. Their aim? To turn everyone against you, casting you as the villain. For those with narcissistic inclinations, it's all part of a manipulative game. It could also serve as a shield to deflect attention from their own flaws in the relationship, a tactic often employed. People generally struggle with admitting their mistakes in relationships. They'd rather shift blame and evade self-reflection. Regardless of their motives, Dealing with this behavior can be incredibly frustrating. It's draining to realize that the person pulling the strings seems unrecognizable, and it's tough to stomach the lies being spun, knowing they're far from the truth, but don't internalize it. While it may feel like a direct assault, let's talk about the impact it has on individuals grappling with low self-esteem. Succumbing to these accusations can further erode your sense of self-worth. If everyone buys into the narrative that you're the problem, it chips away at your self-perception, leaving you questioning your worth. But don't succumb to the deception. Refuse to buy into the falsehoods. That's not why we're here. We're not here to be manipulated or missled. We're here to learn to prioritize our well-being and self-care. Regrettably, their twisted approach is an attempt to nudge you towards self-assertion, self-love and self-belief. However, it's a destructive tactic. It renders you vulnerable because now your self-esteem hinges on others' judgments, a perilous reliance. You shouldn't tether your sense of worth to external validation. Some individuals possess such fragile egos that diminishing others elevates their sense of power. You become their emotional punching bag manipulate it to suit their desires while they revel in their control. 
It's not about your suffering, it's about their dominance. Empathy eludes them. They crave authority over you. It's a twisted reality, but that's their modus operandi. Whether it's a full-fledged narcissist or someone grappling with personal issues, they may resort to spreading rumors or casting you as the antagonist to bolster their self-image. It's a form of retribution because you failed to meet their expectations or withdrew your admiration. They seek to inflict pain to exact revenge, particularly if you once showered them with praise but ceased. They crave your attention, even if it's steeped in negativity and drama. Their outbursts stem from their own anguish, stemming from the perception that you're withholding what they crave or attempting to deflect accountability for their missteps. Hence, it's imperative not to internalize their behavior. They're merely executing their typical playbook, fabricating narratives to portray themselves as blameless. It's textbook manipulation. So don't allow their actions to affect you. It's not a reflection of your worth. It's merely a ploy to sway others to their side. So, I understand where you're coming from. You're probably thinking, OK, don't take it personally, but what's my next move? Here's the scoop. Remain composed. It's easier said than done. Most folks fly off the handle, reacting impulsively. But letting emotions take the reins only escalates the situation. Stay poised, stay authentic. Just because someone throws shade your way doesn't warrant losing your cool. That's not a display of strength or confidence. Not everyone will sing your praises or side with you, and that's perfectly fine. Also, try to decipher their motives behind their actions. Are they attempting to conceal their own blunders, or are they craving attention because you've ceased showering them with praise? Once you grasp their intentions, you can halt emotional reactions. Our aim is to exude tranquility and authenticity, not engage in erratic behavior or internalize everything. Now, if legal matters come into play, document everything, keep a record of threats, manipulations, the whole nine yards. It could serve as vital evidence in the future. Now, on to the next step, and I know you've been eagerly anticipating this. You can present your side of the story, but here's the kicker. Do it confidently and calmly. You're not seeking validation from anyone, just lay out the facts. You can even shed light on what manipulation and narcissistic abuse entail. However, tread carefully here. Steer clear of emotions like anger or resentment. Stick to the cold, hard facts. Lastly, start nurturing your ego. This isn't about fairness or swaying everyone to your side. It's a strategic maneuver. You're mastering the art of standing your ground and validating yourself without depending on external validation. If you are trekking through the labyrinth of dealing with narcissistic behavior, my empathy goes out to you. It's a daunting path, one that demands significant inner reflection. Maintaining your equilibrium, taming your ego, and resisting the impulse to retaliate are formidable tasks in themselves. Even if we grasp the motivations behind someone's actions, it's still a challenge not to internalize them. It's an ongoing journey that demands continual dedication and practice. If you're caught in this vortex, I urge you to perceive it as an opportunity for evolution and self-unveiling. Harness it as a platform to fortify your capacity to stay rooted, assertive, and self-assured. Remember to validate yourself and your journey rather than seeking external validation. I trust you gleaned insight from today's discourse. If you did, kindly consider subscribing to my channel for more enriching content. Thank you for tuning in and take good care of yourself. These mean words can scare narcissists and make them always bow down to you. Have you ever met someone who didn't seem to care about how you felt or your health? They might have shown signs of being very self-centered. It can be hard to deal with people who take advantage of others 
and use manipulation to get what they want. Don't worry though, you have the power to defend yourself. It's time to take back control and destroy the fake world that narcissists have made. Now let's talk about 10 words that will help you stand up to narcissists and protect your health. Are you ready to take back your power? Let's start our trip. First, let go of the handle. It can be tiring to deal with a narcissist, especially if they won't give up their power in a fight or competition. They have an unquenchable desire to win at all costs and can't give up. It doesn't matter how far behind they are. Narcissists will always try to win and avoid losing. There's no doubt that this habit can make you angry. But remember that it turns into a mental fight. Believe in your own decisions and don't let what they do affect how you react. Show that you have no fear and a firm attitude. In the end, they will give up. Prepare for counter-attacks, but find comfort in taking back control and putting your health first. Know that you are standing up for yourself and your mental health when you let go. Say no to a narcissist when they ask you to. For narcissists, saying no is like a knife to their fragile ego. It hurts their sense of being loved and how strong they think they are. They make avoiding the word